The eradication of Adobe Flash dress-up games directly led to the creation of NFTs. Sure, I'll incorporate that into my worldview. Makes the most sense to me! Man, sometimes I think Tumblr's insane, but then through the walls of my glass house, I catch a glimpse of what goes down at fandom Twitter, and I think to myself, I'm glad that this health site is my prison, actually. <laughs> Dandelions symbolize everything I want to be in life. Fluffy and dead with a gust of wind. Unapologetic. Hard to kill. Feral. Filled with sunlight. Bright. Beautiful in a way that the conventional and controlling hate, but cannot ever fully destroy. Stubborn. Happy. Bastardous. Friends with bees, highly disapproving alons, and full of wishes that I will be carried far after I die. Man, that was beautiful. If you were a mouse and you wanted to change the subject, you could say, Squeakin' a witch! Get out! One April Fool's Day, Fred and George decide to play the ultimate prank, doing absolutely nothing but pretending like they have. By midday, most of Gryffindor house is on edge. There's an alternative universe where it's socially acceptable to eat oranges like an apple. Wait, wait, wait. Were we not supposed to do that? Andy, help me out here. Was I not supposed to be doing that? Why are you an adult person below five foot seven? So I can stand up on my tiptoes to kiss tall women. So my face gets directly shoved into man titties when hugging them. God knew that if she made me any taller, I'd reach directly into heaven for her throat. Ah, three types of people! Please, this hell site is my home. I can't imagine ever leaving it. Where else will I post gifts? No one will reblog. Where else will I get wrong information from 20 people at the same time? No! No! It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect! Cliches are bad. Okay then, explain showing up bloody or bruised outside your enemy's door because you didn't know where else to go. Explain that to me. Look, you can't ship that, it'll never be canon. Look, when I was your age, we shipped characters who never even met in canon. Uphill. Both ways. In the snow. Cliche, but classic trope. When the person who's almost dead wakes up in a hospital bed, looks around, and sees the object of their affections sleeping uncomfortably in the chair next to them because they haven't moved in days. You can pry that trope from my cold, dead hands. Cliche, but classic subtrope over this. The person who almost died tells the object of their affection, you look like shit, despite the fact that they are the one in the hospital bed and almost died. Do not let a woman who decorates her buttocks deceive you by wily coaxing, for she is after your granary. Some oddly specific advice from Hesiod, C700 BC. All right, but... Hesiod, which thick girl hurt you and stole your grain? Andy, quick, hide Sia. It was, it was her. She did it. She did it. Quick, hide her! No one must know! Hey, 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 hey! You kick Blorbo? You kick Blorbo like the Plinko? Oh! Oh! EBDB for Glub Shitto! EBDB for Glub Shitto for thousand years! I'm blaming all of you for the abominable fact that I can understand this post. I... <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I don't even want to scream for this one. I just... What are you doing to me, Tumblr?